actually, uh, oh, wow, it's like 53 people on here. Um, so I'm, I'm up this morning. I'm just thinking through stuff I do all day long. What's up, y'all? You don't need to be 40 some people on here. <laughs> y'all get off. <laughs> Um, but no, I was thinking of this change. I'm in, I'm in G right now. And it's like, I be thinking of just ways to get to like your five. Like when you kind of ending a phrase and you're going back to the one. So I got this minor two. I know you can't see that really well, but I'm moving it. gets me to my my five then back to my one Garth what's up y'all so that, that I just like stuff like that I'll take moves like this and I try to think of like variations of kind of the same moves but with some nuances in there so like a note whether it be minor, whether it be major. Let's say, let's say like you got G, right? I'm gonna show you this one. Um, and everybody knows this walk down. Right, we all know that walk down. That's like the dominant major approach. With this F, you getting that dominant. Then you got, Sharp five, that E flat. So I'll take this chord and I'll move that chord different ways. Um, one way I think about it, you'll hear that. You can even hear. All how you move and so and like I love I love just moving and stuff so uh what is it great is that's the chord uh,
Two. The passing is how do you get to the two, right? Most people pass through the six to get to the two. Um, okay, love y'all, bye. Bye-bye. Turn like the six. Love Asia. you. Love you. Love you she want to make sure I say that on live. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I thought you was recording. I am. So, you better love me. I'm glad I'm glad. I too. Um, so, yeah, I'm always thinking about, like, moving to the two, moving from the six, but I like different voicings, um, that I don't really hear in gospel music, honestly, um, I hear a lot of the stuff I do, it's a mixture of jazz, a little bit of classical, and, uh, you know, y'all know, look, fiance stuff, you know, look, she be getting, she be working. <laughs> you work right there. But that. Yeah. Can't live with them, can't live without them. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, let me get back to my, my, my little. I was just studying. I was just up, up early studying. Uh, oh, here come my other girl. What's wrong, Joe? I'm waiting for that number to come down anyway. I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get my stuff out when that number, that number get a little off. We get around eight or nine, <laughs> and then I, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it up though. Oh, y'all, y'all gotta get y'all one of these right here. Oh Lord, say hey, Jung Jung. All kinds of ways to get to the two, yeah, and um. I just, I like exploring different routes and stuff um, and trying to find like new chords, not necessarily new chords, but the same chords in new spots. And um, that's, 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 you know, that's, that's what I be living for. So if I'm like, I, and I like movements. So you hear me always. Drum will pluck it out. You'll hear me doing stuff like that. I'll do. That's like one to two. That's a two. She gonna be yeah. an ox player. She gonna be no. She don't care about that piano. <laughs> she wants sounds. I don't want you to put on a head on Granny Perry. Thank you for helping me name all the colors of your jewels. <laughs> Good job. But yeah, so um. If I'm, if I know kind of like where I'm going, I can see the the, the scale that I'm kind of in a little bit, and I know that I'm like kind of moving across, uh, kind of moving just across C major. But I got that this random F sharp in here because I'm playing off a of G, so I have to kind of consider that. And if I hit, if I come up across, if I know that like in the scale of G. This one that's gonna immediately stand out to me the F sharp, the seven of, of G, to the point where I know that's gonna become my major key at one point. Even you know, F sharp major and G, because it's just it's so much you can do to get back to because, of course, you're gonna go to B minor, B minor is like uh. Dang, it's all the keys are related. So if you if you're thinking of F sharp, 
it's gonna make me think of A, it's gonna make me think of B minor, all, it's gonna make me think of so many different keys, so many different options that you have. And um, you just have to get super creative with your, uh, uh, your choices. And if you can maintain the melody, then it's just a game of choices at that point. What's up, Jeremiah? I use yes. I like yes because it helps me explore keys. Um, so I play it all the time because it's just a perfect like practice song. Yeah. And I try to keep it. I try to expand on it when I get into it. A lot of people don't play that chord. <laughs> a lot of people play this chord. They do this. more appropriate walk up would be this chord yeah. uh, how do you use modes in gospel I mean you use modes anywhere modes is nothing like I mean modes is just found in music period you just it's identifying the modes that you're you're playing and stuff like that whether it be your, your you know your Dorian Phrygian and all that stuff, because um, it's based off of scales, right? So you you end up playing, you know, something like that, like Aeolian. You you know you end up playing something like that without trying because it's just part of like different chords and changes that we already use. So um, I don't I don't really think about modes like that. Like I'm thinking about a mode. I'm trying to be. I don't think about it like that. I think about the song. And then I think about the melody of the song. I think about the routes. I think about how the original route was intended. I think about ways that I can um, put myself in it. So making different changes, you know, and variations to it. So like stuff I'm doing right now. So yes, it's, you hear people say yeah, and I'm like, mm, that's fine. Another D major, uh, but it's uh, in a drop two form. So I got my root as A and F sharp, but I got D major on in my right hand. So yeah, yes, melody on top. Yes. You can do it backwards the same way. Instead of going to the five, uh, instead of the what's that? Instead of going to the five, I'll pivot and go back to the three. Yeah.
slow. Like, I be really trying to, like, go in the middle of it and, like, and fly. I'm sorry. I'm, like, I'm probably missing some comments. I be trying to, like, really see my way through it. And I'm trying to use my ear at the same time. That's why I'm, like, taking my my time with it. I'm not just trying to rip through it to impress somebody. But I really like this stuff. And I be trying to, like, understand, like, because I'm not a huge theory guy. But, um, so all this stuff is like, it's opening up my brain as I play it more and I'm, st I'm starting to understand it more. Is it a Nord? Yeah, I'm playing Nord. And so, I, and I'm, I'm probably just scratching the surface of stuff. You know, I, I really am. I know I am. But, um, the stuff gets deep quick. Um, especially with different changes. to the six your pivot will be your three right so holding that note as like a pedal tone while you're moving to your actual change that's dope what i mean by that um uh let me get out of this let me uh go to uh,
I'm, I'm just, I'm a little, you know, piano nerd, junkie. I just like chords and stuff, right? And playing around with different things. <laughs>
trying to figure out the, the four is hard. I'm trying to trying to move on the four. I mean, you can move the regular, but that's boring. Uh, I would probably have to use the minor to my strength.